We have a big exploit issue at the moment in game. And hello everybody. So I've just wrapped on recording, editing and uh, scheduling for tomorrow at the MCN. And this particular story was something that I was watching the thread for a little while, waiting to see if Caban were going to act on it and kind of like raise it as a concern and post it as a video tomorrow. Kabam have pushed ahead to actually deal with this situation. So what we can do is basically we'll put this out video out. I think it's my fifth today. Uh, I haven't had time to do a lot of stuff in game that I should have done and also guides and stuff that I wanted to do. But look, we've got to cover information. We've got to bring you information. Make sure that Kabam are doing their job. Make sure as well you know stuff when things aren't going right or wrong. It's important to have that level of communication uh, and to help, out, help out the community. That's why, you know, we, we cover stuff as we do. Uh, but yeah. This is all about the enlistment event and an exploit. So I saw this thread, uh, I think it was like this morning, it spilled over from yesterday. It's hard to believe a new event went out quite literally yesterday and obviously things are going the way they are. So this player said, will these people be punished? In response to, will those who use AI to register hundreds or, th uh, or thousands of small accounts and then trade enlistment tickets be punished, right? And there could be more to meets the eye in that. People that create the accounts to then join alliances, then to send out the tokens, send out the tickets to then get stuff back or send out to accounts to inflate them means that there may be some accounts that are being kind of inflated by tons of these uh, these crystals. And even though I suppose it's debatable whether or not these crystals are super spicy and to be and to give you an idea, the crystals we're talking about was in the en enlistment crystal. I don't really like show you any, but uh, yeah, so the enlistment crystals are the ones where they are. They are skip past them there. These enlistment crystals here. So, yes, will these be super spicy to you? Some people, yes, some people, no, but only yes when it comes to the stacking. And the stacking is something that is the issue when people are getting tons of them. Uh, so yeah, like because and it says here they can give them some from smaller accounts most certainly uh, At least previous gifting badges you need for level 40 But what does it look like? How is this an exploit? Proof, okay, some people were saying about proof and this right here now off the bat I'm sure people will say this is fake many people actually on the forum said this is fake now to the astute people among you and the people that know you'll be very familiar with the fact this is font that is used within the Chinese portion of the game. So the Chinese like translation -y font stuff has a very different kind of um, uh, not symbol, or digit type like font. That's the best way I can probably describe it, digit font. So it just looks a little bit different. Um, some people like said, oh, this is fake. It's not fake. It's just in case it's in a different time, type of uh, font style uh, for this. But what's the implications? Like off the bat, some people may kind of not see the point of these being a problem. They are. Because when you think about it, yeah, it'd be nice to get 5 mil gold. A lot of people pick up, you know, Paragon level, pick up 5 mil gold, you know, every day, every two days, every once every three days, whatever, incursions, whatever. The loyalty, the glory, and the incursion artifacts are very, very important because they will allow players to have access to things like seven star crystals. And seven star signature stones at a given time now for me at the moment i've got 2.3 uh, mil uh, loyalty and then when it comes to glory i mean glory doesn't really matter because like for, for glory it's like okay cool well I've, i'll reach limits i have to wait for resets and stuff like that i'm down to 860 glory at the moment you know what i mean like you spend it how you spend it it does reset but at the same time look someone can get some spicy stuff they won't be able to hold it though, that's the only thing. Um, but the, the big issue is when it comes to incursions and when it comes to loyalty. It becomes an issue because players' access to those 7-star crystals is going to be quicker, which isn't really in keeping with the fairness. It's like, you may be able to get a 200 signature 7-star Angela. Not likely, but what I'm talking, what, what, basically the point I'm kind of uh, get to is that gives too much unfair advantage where it shouldn't do and that's not good and especially because a lot of these these particular bot created players may look to you know uh, make an account that they can then ship to somebody else and then someone else gets banned because somebody's silly enough to buy an account from somebody that did something like this therefore you know got themselves kind of um, banned in the process therefore selling it to, you, you understand it's a domino effect with this stuff uh, but yeah, like this is uh, something that's just, it's not, it's not right. It's not on. And uh, yeah, just gets worse and worse 
if Kabam don't deal with it. Initially, this was kind of earlier today. So this was just before 5 p.m. UK time. So that was, by the time I get this video out, I don't know what time it's gonna be, maybe five hours ago. If there are people that are doing this, then yes, we will be actively, we'll actively find and punish that behavior. Having alts is not against the rules, but if people are using bots and farms to feed themselves excessive numbers of enlistment crystals, then we will take uh, we will take action. Now that's the thing, you know, could it be that uh, people are legitimately feeding, I don't know, like their, their mains from alts? Are alliance members really favorable around one particular person and giving them loads of stuff? I don't know, like that's again, just like hazarding, I guess, with that one. But it's definitely something on Kabam's radar. And lo and behold, several hours later, Kabam have now decided that they're going to deal with it. Which you can see on screen. So this is Kabam kind of like uh, uh, dealing with it. There was a big like, you know, thing like their orange masthead on the forums to say that they were going to deal with it. And as a result, they're, you know, they're, uh, they're going in on strong uh, with, uh, with doing them. So, um, yeah, I will need to spend my because you can't hold them i was going to do a, a little video at the weekend i'm going to have to do that as soon as possible because it says here in order to curb some exploitative behavior that we have discovered we'll be adding a restriction to the enlistment uh, gifting event only accounts started between 9 p.m or 9 utc 2 p.m pt sorry today will be able to claim the gifting badge and gift their friends and alliance mates with enlistment crystals additionally we are aware of and are investigating players that are employing third-party services, including bots and farms, to purchase gifts for themselves. This is not acceptable behavior, and we'll take action against accounts we find doing this, including both the sender and the receiver. This could include any actions we deem necessary, including temporary or permanent suspensions. Naughty, naughty. While this event, as is, may not have occurred before, Gifting events are now uh, not new to the contest, and we have, excuse me, been explicit with how we handle these situations in the past. Lastly, please note that we will add an expiration timer to these crystals. Uh, enlistment crystals will expire on October 18th at uh, 5 UTC 10 PT, so don't hoard them. So yeah, that's a forewarning to everybody uh, on that one. And as I said, maybe not hoarding is the uh, is the answer in this particular um, uh, occasion. It's honestly, like it's so so much going on. Just as, as I'm reading this, um, I I just been pinged by um, the uh, Rich the Man Discord mod, uh, Captain Dante, who uh, who was uh, messaging me about this. Like, I I, I can't understand. Sometimes I cannot keep up with the extent of uh, you know what what's going down with the the community at times, and it's like, yeah. Um, crazy. It, it is. It is crazy. I was crazy once. I did. Uh, I. I lived in a room, rubber room, rubber room, full of rats, and rats make me crazy. I was crazy once. Some people might get that reference. It does. It's like it's. It's crazy. It really is. Because as I said, we are not twenty four hours in, and it's been so many things. There's so many things as well that are going to be in the MCN tomorrow, and I've got to get into kind of like making some guides. Like I think all the time I've got left over this evening is uh, just kind of get an idea of what guides I'd need to make between now and Sunday to then just get out. And I will be getting out guides as soon and as quickly as I can for stuff that I was hoping to cover. But uh, yeah, it's just a case of like, there's so many, th honestly, so many things going on. You know, Ascensions, uh, Ascensions, Ascensions dropped. We've had a bug with a 2.2. Uh, we've had, uh, what have we had as well? Oh, uh, there's kingpin regen rate problem. There's the confusion around the uh, the different tiers with the side quest. Incursions not returning back, but will be returning back, and and so, so many. And I bet as well we've got some stuff to kind of the. Um... Oh, and a ban wave from some of the stuff from uh, the back end of in, of uh, battlegrounds. Honestly, so many things in a very short space of time to to kind of get and sink our teeth into. Uh, as, a, as a community and of course to cover here on the uh, the Rich Man channel where we cover news information and uh, side quest guides event guides and new things to the contest so make sure to like button and subscribe for more um, I haven't done the, uh, the outro yet I'm th I think I'm going to like write some stuff and head to bed
Any case, thank you very much for watching this video. Please consider checking out some of the content on screen right now. Support the channel. Please support the channel. Like, you know, we're, we're pushing to get 70k by the end of the year. It would mean a lot if we could do that. You know, appreciate you. Much love. Have a great day. Bye-bye.